to this is Victory Earning Fish, and in this video, I'm with my friend John. He's filming right now, and you'll see him later in the video. And we're going to be making a video on my top 10 fishing lures. So I hope you find out some great lures and enjoy. Hi. Okay, guys, so for number one is just the classic jig, okay? So what a jig looks like. They're very common in fishermen, like stories or whatever. This one has a rattle, which is a bonus. If you can hear that. Basically, it's a head, hook, little weed guard, and then just some bushiness. And I like to put a little crawdad trailer on it, like this. Or like this. Just a little crawfish, or I'll put one of these on. I'll get to this later, though. I'll get to that later. I'll put that on it, and this works for me every time I do it. Um, I do it. Um, I do it shallow water and deep water. I prefer shallow water when I see a fish or when I'm sight fishing with polarized glasses. Um, this is my favorite color, if you can see those colors. And then this color, just black and blue. This one's a little bit smaller. You can get these all at Walmart. All these jigs at Walmart. And this is a white one, actually. I don't usually buy white jigs, but maybe they don't want a dark one for some reason, and they just want a different color. So it's just a different presentation. So I went ahead and bought that one also. So jigs are my number one. Number two in the countdown are spinnerbaits. Okay? Spinnerbaits are... Like the first thing you hear spinnerbait or spinner is going to be this, probably. This is a striking mini spinnerbait. Um, not the ultra mini, just the normal mini. Uh, bleeding. See, it has a bleeding hook. So there's some red in there. And red right here and red eyes. I like this type of... I like a silver Colorado, I think. And a gold willow leaf. That's like the perfect color for me. Chartreuse and red. And I put a trailer hook on. Basically, you get a hook with a big little eye, and you just slip it right by. And then if a fish, if this is going too quickly, they can bite it right here, and then that gets it. So you're more likely to catch a fish, but it's a little bit less weedless. And all spinnerbaits are my number two. They're fantastic. Next, this will catch you fish anywhere, but they're not always big. My neighbor's favorite color, if you've seen his videos, if not, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can watch him. He made a video a couple days ago about these, and basically, just a white rooster tail, or inline spinner. Um, this one is like a white with sparkle and two dots. It's fairly big, and this one's a really small one, just a normal silver and white. This is his favorite color. I'll fish this small one in a small creek where it's like three feet deep and I'll fish this one in a pond, maybe lake. And then MEPS, if you've heard of them, they're really good. They got good vibration all the time and they're just that's raccoon. That's real raccoon for so it's cool. And then you can make your own homemade one. This isn't my homemade one. But this one provides a lot of flash. So these I really like. You just cast it, let it sink a little bit and then twitch it to get it going and then just reel in. That's all you do. For all the rooster tails. And that's my number two, three. That's my number three. <sighs> number four is going to be these. The Strike King Lure Company. Um, this is the River Bug and Watermelon Red Flake 10 pack. Um, so I'm going to show you what they look like. That's them. They're really small. I'll put them on the back of one of my jigs. And then the way you rig it is you get a little hook like this one. This is a 2 watt wide gap double bend offset hook. And you rig it Texas rig. And I have a few other videos. And if you, have, if you can't find them, comment on this video and I will make it for you. To, in order to do a Texas rig. So I really like these um, and a little bullet weight on the top. So that's number 4, I think. And number five is the Zoom 
Tequila Sunrise, I think, 7-inch worm with thick, this twisty thing. 7-inch. And then, um, so, basically, I put a trailer on it, because this is so big that the odds of a fish biting right here in order to get that hook exposed are kind of unlikely. So I just double the odds, plus... If it's kind of slow, because this is built to be going through the water pretty fast, or jigging it on the bottom, but I usually fish it really fast, and let's say they're chasing it, but they can't get it, and they only be able to bite the tail, they'll still get hooked. But if they engulf it, which they usually do with jigs, then you're good to go anyways. So you're just doubling the odds, and I recommend a trailer hook. So, my I, I definitely recommend jigs. That's the only thing I highly recommend. Number six in the countdown, I think number six, is the Yum Live Prey Technology Tube. It's not really a brand, because it was on discount um, at Walmart. And they're really good. They're salty, because they're the Live Prey Technology with salt, whatever. And they are super salty. And the way I fish these is just with a normal jig hook. The one with the hook and then it has a, a little weight built into it with an eye painting. I love to fish that with this. And I, whenever I see a fish, kind of like when I'm fishing with the jig, like a normal big jig with the hair stuff, I'll fish it the same exact way. And now for the last four, I believe, is going to be John showing you that. So, hold on. This is the watermelon red dinger. And the way I would... Rig it is wacky rig, and this is the way that it would look. It would look kind of like clumsy. And on to the next one. There's m not much to say about this one. This is the hula popper, and I would use it in the springtime. And I would, um, this one's a really good one, and it like kind of flaps in the water. And this is eight, I believe. Yeah, I think so. And we recommend using heavy pound mono for this. This is watermelon red trick worm. And I would I mean I would recommend using the Texas rig for it, but there's two. You can use a wacky rig also. Yeah. And this is a finesse worm. It's very a similar, but the plastic is a bit thicker. Yeah. And you can rig it the same way, but it'll just give a different action, and I recommend swimming this through the water. So, and last is going to be... Hold on, I gotta look through my bag. Where did you do that one? We, okay, guys, last... But lot, not least, is going to be... I don't know why those are that much. Okay. It is going to be a Swim and Super Fluke in White Pearl. This is a five package, and it's about... Eh, it's pretty cheap. Um, basically, I use a... a um, what's it called? I use the hook with the little spring in it. It's where I can like, drill the spring into the worm, I forgot what it was called, and then, um, just rip it through the weeds, and Texas rig weedless, and you can't even put this on the back of a big spinner bait, so, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, you can comment in the comment box if there were any questions, if you want me to clarify anything or just to make another one because you liked it. So I hope you learned how to catch these big, big, big monster bass. This can work for a smallmouth, largemouth, really anything, walleye even, especially the rooster tails and trout. Rooster tails catch trout. But this is mainly for top 10 or 9, whatever, bass fishing groups. So like, comment, and as always, subscribe.